Okay, my friends, let's see who do we have here. Vamos a ver a quién tenemos por acá. We're going to work uh, on uh, class number 10, la clase número 10. So, I'm going to present the topic. Um, let me see. We're going to have review of unit two and practice. Well, we're going to check who do we have here. Vamos a ver a quién tenemos por acá, ya que tenemos por acá a Yasmin, a Brian, tenemos también a Ana Cristina, Wilmer, eh, Joana, Héctor, eh, Luz, Wendy, Ricardo, Laura, eh, well, and the rest, Andrea, Gracia, Imelda, David, well. Um, just one question, Laura, uh, you can speak? Uh, oh, your audio works. Yeah, funciona tu audio. Hola, sí, sí, teacher. Aquí okay, está. That's... <laughs> nice. Okay, that's usually that we have problems. Thank you, Laura. Okay, um, here we have one thing. Um, remember, just remember that uh, tonight we finish unit two. It means that we are in the middle of the course. Ya estamos a la mitad del curso. Solo nos hace falta dos eh, semanas. And believe me, that is going to be kind of quick. Va a ser rápido. ¿Verdad? Va a pasar rápido. So, um, uh, it is really positive because we are about to finish. Ya estamos, pues, a la mitad ya vamos a terminar. Ya se van a dar cuenta. Okay. So, the first question that I want to tell you is this. Do you have siblings? Do you have siblings? Do you have a favorite one? Okay. So, um, before we start answering this question, this is about this is about brothers and sisters. Cuando decimos brother, decimos hermano. Sister es hermana. Pero cuando decimos siblings, significa a ambos. Nos, normalmente, eh, nosotros preguntamos o se nos preguntan a veces si tienes hermanos. Cuando dicen si tienes hermanas, se refiere eh, automáticamente, entendemos, es hermanos y hermanas, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés, cuando decimos brother, es hermano, sister, es hermana. 
Así que para decir, para referirnos a ambos, decimos siblings, ¿ok? So, here we have siblings, brothers and sisters. Um, son dos preguntas, ¿ok? Do you have siblings? Eh, si me preguntan a mí, do you have siblings? Uh, yes, I have two brothers. Sí, tengo dos hermanas. Supongamos un caso que tengo una, un hermano y una hermana. Preguntan, do you have siblings? Yes, I have one brother and one sister. Okay, so be careful with this because I'm going to ask you one by one and I'm going to check the attendance list. También reviso la lista de asistencia cuando les pregunte esto, ¿verdad? Eh, la respuesta de estas preguntas va a ser de manera ahora. No tienen que escribir en el chat, okay? So, the second question says, do you have a favorite? ¿Tienes un favorito? O sea, en hermano, hermana, si es que tienes hermanos, hermanas. ¿Tienes un favorito? Podría ser, yes, my sister, my favorite is my brother. O si los aman por igual, pueden decir, I love them the same. Los amo por igual. I love them the same. Ok. So I'm going to check um, the attendance list. So be ready to answer. Esta va a ser la manera como nosotros pues vamos a estar contestando. Just give me a second. Okay, I'm going to start with Ana Cristina. Remember to say hi, hello, good evening, and then I'm going to ask you. Después les pregunto sobre esta interrogante. Cristina, Christy, are you there? Present. Thank you, Cristina. Okay, do you have siblings? Uh, I don't. I don't have. I don't have. I love them the same. Okay, but you do you have siblings? Yes. Okay. ¿Cuántos? How many? Four. Four. Uh huh. Brothers, sisters. Brothers. Four brothers. Okay. And you love them the same. Los amo por igual. Thank you. Okay. What about Brian? Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Do you have siblings? Yes, I have um, uh, one sister, so just yes, just, just okay. one. That's nice. Well, I guess you love, you love her a lot. Um, yep. <laughs> okay, thank you, uh, Brian. What about David? I don't know if David is here. Hi, teacher. Yes. Oh, David. Okay, do you have siblings? No, teacher, don't have. Ah, you are the only one. Yes. Okay, that's I nice. Then myself. Okay, that's <laughs> perfect. Well, well, one question for you. Uh, okay. Would you like to have, well, in the past, did you want some brothers or sisters? Querías hermanos y hermanas? In the past. No. No. Okay. No. That's nice, David. So, uh, mm, you are okay like that. Está bien así, right? Yes. Perfect. Thank you for being honest. Thank you. Okay. And Doris, hi. Good evening. I don't know if Doris is there.
Ok. Doris no está disponible. Douglas. Stephanie. Are you there, Stephanie? Ok, maybe not. What about Gracia? Hi, uh, good, evening. good evening. I don't Gracia. have. You don't have brothers or sisters, ok? No siblings. Ok. Uh, Gracia, in the past, did you want uh, some siblings? ¿Querías hermanos en el pasado? Not, but now, yes, I want. Okay. Not in the past, but now, yes, it is like a good idea. Thank you. Okay, Hector, do we have Hector here? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Okay, Hector, hello, do you have siblings? Yes. How many? I, ¿Cuánto? I find brothers and five sisters. Wow. You are 11. Son 11 ustedes. 11. Yes. Come on. Yes. You are a lot of... Okay. <laughs> and do you have a favorite? I love them the same. The same. Okay. You love them the same. Thank you. Okay. okay. That's it. Thank you. Uh, Nelson, you are raising your hand. Está levantando la mano, Nelson. Any opinion? Uh, yes, well, good evening. Good evening, hi. <sighs> I have a, I have a one, two, three, four, four brothers and two sisters. Okay, four brothers and two sisters. So you are seven, right? Yes, okay. I like With you, you. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a favorite? No, neither. No, not a favorite. No. Okay. No, no. Okay. Interesting. Thank you, Nelson. Uh, Imelda, are you there? I don't know if Imelda is there. Okay. Ivan. I don't know. Hi, teacher. Oh, good, good evening, Ivan. Okay. Do you have siblings? Yes, I have a sibling. How many? Three, uh, sorry, two sister and brother. Okay, do you have a favorite? Yeah, no, I am a... Uh, ah, you love menor? the same. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I younger. am... Mm -hmm. The younger, yes, mm -hmm. I am the younger. Okay, thank you. Um, what about, okay, Joanna, are you there? Hi, teacher. Um, <laughs> neither. You don't have siblings. Wow. <laughs> and in the Ninguna, past, did you want? Pero si hubiese pero, querido. Uh -huh, in the past, you, you think like, yes, it is like a good idea to have a brother or a sister. Okay. Ay, yo sí, unos cinco quizá. Unos cinco hermanos. Yeah, like, like five. Como <laughs> Yeah, commonly, oh, really? commonly there are some families that they are really big. Hay familias que son bastante grandes, right? And, and it is good. Yeah. There are positive aspects. Hay aspectos positivos. Like when you have celebrations, vacations, eh, Christmas, Navidad, and some of like that, yeah. El heredero nada más de la jarana. Yeah, yeah. That's another one. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. Uh, Laura? Oh, my, my grandmother has uh, 17 sons. Wow, 17. Yeah, yep. okay. <laughs> that, that That's a lot of, uh, well, a lot of babies. Imagine how your grandma was so brave, suffering, the, because she was like pregnant 17 times, embarazada 17 veces. And complicated or more, I don't know, but yeah, wow. But if you notice, that is maybe um, a situation that it was very common in the past, but because now, mm, I guess families just one, two, or three, right? Because there are a lot of aspects, I aspects que inciden in this decision. Thank you, Brian. Okay, uh, Laura, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. Um, yes, I have 
I have a one sister. Tengo okay. una hermana. Sí. One sister. Okay. Sí. Okay, that's nice. Would you like some other? ¿Te gustaría otros hermanos? ¿O te hubiese eh, gustado? De paz. Probablemente sí. <laughs> sí Probably, uno. yes. Sí. Maybe one more. Okay. Interesting, Laura. Thank you. Uh, Luz, are you there? Hi. Um, Hi. I have two sisters. Ah, two sisters. Okay. Nice. So, do you have a favorite? Uh, I love them the same. The same. Okay, nice. The same. Okay, let's have more that's, that's beautiful. Thank you. Um, let's see now. Miguel, are you there? Okay, maybe Miguel is not there. Ricardo? Hi, hi, Richard. Hello. Hello. Okay, Ricardo, you have siblings? Uh, uh, yes, I have one brother and one sister. Okay, perfect. Do you have a favorite from no. those? No. No favorite. <laughs> no favorite. <laughs> Vamos, ustedes, yo creo que me están mintiendo. Okay, thank you, Ricardo. Nice. Okay. You okay. love them the same. Perfect. What about Wendy? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Do you have siblings? Yes, I have two brothers and two sisters. Oh, nice. Two brothers and two sisters. Uh, yes. do, uh, do you have favorites? No favorite. No favorite? No. Come I love on. them the same. Love them the same. Okay. No favorites. And mm -hmm. thank you. Mm, Wilmer, what about you? Hi. Uh, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Do you have siblings? Uh, yes, one sister. One sister. Okay. Would you like to have one brother? ¿Te hubiese gustado tener un hermano? One brother in the past? Mm. No. <laughs> no, really. You are okay. Está bien así. I'm, I'm okay like that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Jasmine. Hi, teacher. Good Hello. Hello. Good evening. Do you have siblings? Yes, I have is seven brothers y one sister. Wow, seven. You are nine. So, son nueve, yeah. entonces. You are nine. Wow. Mm -hmm. A lot of. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Uh, do you have a favorite? Yes, this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice si es solo uno? Solo uno. Just es one. Hermano. Uh -huh. One, uh, one brother. Okay, that's nice. Okay, perfect. So, let's see. Um, tell me, what number of tone are you? For example. Okay. Sigo pensando que esa actualización de Zoom no es muy amigable que se diga, pero bueno. Ok. Um, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay, um, mm 
Okay, I need you to write in the chat this one. What number of, of song are you? For example, first, second, third, fourth. I'm going to show you. Quiero que escriban, I am. I am the, in my case, In my case, I am the first. Okay, soy el primero. Yeah, I am the oldest. Soy el mayor. I am the oldest. Si son los, este, los más jóvenes, pueden decir the youngest, el más joven. Or you can say, I am the second. I am the third son. Estos se llaman números ordinales porque eh, se refieren al orden. Ojo con esto. En cambio, tenemos... Los otros, que son los números cardinales, eh, los números se dividen en, en dos tipos, ¿ok? Estos son los ordinals. Luego tenemos cardinals. Y este es one, two, um, three. Or, y todos los que ustedes ya conocen. Ok. So, if you notice, um, ordinals refer to order. Los números ordinales se refieren al orden. Primero, segundo, tercero. And you can find these, for example, in some races, en algunas carreras, championship, campeonatos, torneos. First place, second place, third place, que es el primer, segundo y tercer lugar. But cardinals, los cardinales se refieren a cantidad, quantity. One, two, three, four. Ejemplo, eh, ¿qué número de hermano eres? I'm the third, soy el tercero. ¿Cuántos hermanos tienes? Four. ¿Notan la diferencia? Cardinals, quantity. Cardinales para cantidad, ordinales para orden. I'm going to wait for your answers. Para ver qué tal. A través de esto puedo saber un poco de su personalidad. Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. Um, gracias. I am the only one. Yes, gracias. You told me you are the only one. La consentida. Nice. Ricardo, I am the first and the oldest. <laughs> okay. The, yeah, I understand you, Ricardo. I'm the same. Por eso tengo canas. Uh, Joanna says, I am the only one. Okay. Uh, Hector, I am the 11. Yes, Hector, I'm sorry, I didn't write that. Solo que a 11 le agregaste H. Eso es lo único, ¿verdad? Sería el onceavo, ¿verdad? Cristina, I am the second. Okay, Wendy, I am the fifth. Nice. Nelson, I am the sixth and one of the youngest. Okay, Nelson, very good description. David, I am the only one. Doris, I am the second. Jasmine, I am the, four, the fourth. Right, 
Brian, I am the second. Okay, Laura, I am the second. The little girl. Ah, okay. Eres consentida entonces, Laura. Yeah, because you are the baby girl. It happens sometimes. And that's kind of funny. Es gracioso, es interesante. Okay. And if you notice, believe me or not, the way of the treatment, el trato from our parents is kind of diffi it's different. Es diferente el trato. Because with the first one, eh, they were like beginners. Ellos eran principiantes. They didn't have experience. But with the second, the third, fourth, fifth, and so on, parents are, have a lot of experience. They know what to do. Ya saben qué hacer. Okay? If they get sick, si se enferman, if they have some difficulties. Okay? So, yeah, it is different. Thank you for your answers. I consider that they are very interesting. But something uh, funny is that here we have some of only one sons. Tenemos hijos únicos. And this is not so common. No es tan común realmente eso. But in this group, yeah, we have. Thank you. Let's continue. Now, um, tell me here. How do you remember your future events? You tell me if you use, uh, I need you to tell me in the chat. You use an agenda or ele no, electronic agenda. Now we don't have maybe an app like a reminder. Reminders son recordatorios. Si tienen una app, what is the app? ¿Cuál es la aplicación que utilizan? Because cell phones have uh, block notes, right? ¿Verdad? Bueno, tenemos bloques de notas. Ok. And here we have alarms. Tenemos alarmas. We can use email. Podemos usar el, el correo. Ok. O Google Calendar. Or you tell your mom, or le dicen a su mamá que le recuerdan, I don't know. You have a lot of strategies. Tienen estrategias para recordar las cosas. You tell me, mention one. ¿Cómo recuerdan sus eventos que tienen a futuro? How do you remember meetings? ¿Cómo es el, eh, ah, or some other people they use? Postics, right? Que utilizan yes, los yeah. postics. Yeah, and, and that's really useful in, uh, on the yes. computer, on the refrigerator. I don't know. Yes, Nelson. Yes. <clears throat> okay. In my case, I use an application, an app. And the this app, it's called Keep. It is from Google. That is something that I use. Something that, in my case, is really useful. Para mí es bastante útil eso de Keep. I recommend it. Lo recomiendo 100%. And something nice is that Keep, it's uh, logged with Google account. Está logueada con, con, con lo de la cuenta de Google. So, really useful okay um let's read some others i'm going to give you some time that un par de segundos and you tell me how you remember como se recuerda de los eventos futuros uh -huh. meetings visit clients
Well, in this case, gracias says I use post-its in my agenda. Mm -hmm. Very, very useful. Uh, I use my memory or sometimes use the calendar, Miguel. Good. Ricardo, reminder, post-it notes or my mom. <laughs> I guess mothers have very good memory. Most of them, la mayoría. Nelson, I use the, the post-its a lot on the blackboard. Mm -hmm. Very, very uh, good idea. Brian, I use an app in my cell phone. Brian, do you remember what is the name of that app, that application? So maybe we can have some other ideas of app. Um, so it's like a, uh, like a Google Assistant. It mm -hmm. is a, it's, a, it's an assistant. So uh, it's about of one anime. Mm, interesting. Okay, very nice. Well, interesting, Brian. And Laura says, I use the calendar and set many alarms the day before. Yes, Laura, that's so important. Uh, sometimes just one notification, it is not enough. A veces una notificación, una alarma no es suficiente. Okay, because you are kind of busy. I'm ocupados. Cristina, I use alarms on my phone. Okay. Joanna, at my work with postics and personally with note blocks on the phone and mom. Yeah, mother is always the last resource, el último recurso. Hector, I use note blocks and alarms. Perfect. Wendy, I use note blocks and personal WhatsApp chat. Okay. Yeah, could it be? David, I use calendar and alarms. Wilmer, I use the calendar. Jasmine, I use note blocks and calendar. Yeah, perfect, my friends. Yeah, I guess we have to be responsible part or an essential uh, part of being an adult is that you have to be responsible. Esa es la esencia de, de un adulto. We have to, uh, yeah, do the things if we want or if the one, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go with this. Um, here we have perfect test for negative adjectives, okay? Look at this. Um, no sé si usted, a ustedes les gustaban las clases de lenguaje, principalmente en bachillerato, donde teníamos que analizar o, oraciones, análisis eh, morfosintácticos y todo eso, que se hacía un diagrama como de árbol, Y se sacaba verbo, sujeto, bla, bla, bla. Eh, ahí hay una parte que se llama prefijos, prefixes. Y que nosotros los utilizamos. So, in this case, here we have prefixes for negative adjectives. Okay, remember that an adjective is a word that describes a person or a situation. Eh, el adjetivo es principalmente... Eh, la palabra que describe una persona un, o una situación. Cuando tenemos un adjetivo, por ejemplo, sorry, tengo problemas otra vez con esta edición. Ahí está. Vamos a utilizar, por ejemplo, I'm going to use this. Faithful. La palabra faithful nos describe a todos los hombres. Faithful significa fiel. Ok. Cuando decimos que alguien exactly. es faithful. Yeah, yeah it's true. Sí, I know. Me voy a reír de este profesor. Jasmine, por favor. <laughs> Sabemos que es verdad, ¿verdad? Innegable, okay. innegable. Ok, I don't know. <laughs> Ok, nice. Bien. Creo que todos estamos de acuerdo. Solo es mismo. Thank you. Ok. Um, faithful significa fiel. Pero si le ponemos unfaithful, significa lo opuesto que es infiel. Ok. So, anoten esta palabra. Ok. So, here we have healthy, que es saludable. ¿Verdad? Unhealthy. Eh, no necesariamente es insalubre, sino que puede ser no saludable. 
¿verdad? Aquí tenemos limpio, clean. Unclean significa como que cuando algo no está sucio, cuando algo no está limpio, o sea, sucio. Y ustedes me pueden decir, teacher, pero ¿y qué cuesta en lugar de decir unclean? ¿Por qué no decimos dirty? ¿Qué significa sucio? Yes, you can say that. Pueden decir eso. Pero cuando utilizamos los prefijos, su nivel de inglés se escucha todavía mejor. ¿Ok? So, tenemos kind, que significa amable. Unkind significa una persona que no es amable, o sea, una persona grosera, podría ser. Aquí tenemos eh, este, this prefix. Este prefijo es on. El otro prefijo que tenemos aquí es in. ¿Ok? Tenemos, por ejemplo, capable significa capaz. Incapable es incapaz. ¿Ok? Eh, cuando decimos sane, decimos que alguien es sano, pero decimos insane, eh, alguien se refiere a alguien que no es sano, pero mentalmente. Por ejemplo, demente. ¿Ok? And so, there are some other uh, examples using on y también using in. Y ahora aquí tenemos, but in changes when it comes before P, M, L, and R. Y tenemos acá que este in cambia a veces y puede ser I, M, I, L, O, I, R. Y se van a dar cuenta que hay, hay algunas palabras que ustedes ya conocen. Por ejemplo, possible significa posible, pero impossible es imposible, ¿verdad? Como misión imposible, como la película, ¿ok? Uh, here we have patient, tenemos paciente. Aquí sería impatient, impaciente, ¿ok? Tenemos immortal y así sucesivamente. Eh, luego tenemos acá, aparte de im, tenemos ill. ¿Verdad? Eh, tenemos, aquí es illegal, ¿verdad? Illogical, illegible. Entonces tenemos, si aquí es legal, eso es ilegal, ¿verdad? Lógico, logical, ¿verdad? Pero si tenemos el ill, significa ilógico. Y el otro es el ir, ¿verdad? Que tenemos, por ejemplo, regular, como los verbos regulares. Luego tenemos ir, ¿verdad? Irregular, ¿verdad? Y así sucesivamente. It is not necessary to learn all of this. No es necesario aprenderse todo esto. But it is good to have an idea, al menos tengan una idea de cómo pueden funcionar los prefijos con algunos de los adjetivos, ¿verdad? On, in, im, il, here, ¿verdad? Entonces, estos eh, son los prefijos, después vamos a saber los sufijos. Pre es de antes, ¿verdad? Como preámbulo, precuela, ¿verdad? Eh, así, prefixes for negative adjectives, cuando los queremos cambiar a negativos. Okay. Well, we're going to continue. Let me check. We're going to, okay. We're going to go with speaking activity porque tenemos dos speaking activities, ¿verdad? Okay. Um, should the penalty be allowed? Why? Why not? Si la pena máxima, ¿verdad? Pena de muerte podría ser, eh, debería de ser permitida. Sí. No. ¿Por qué? Okay. Entonces vamos a dar algunos. Let's listen to some of your opinions. Ok, puede ser que en algunos casos, eh, sí, totalmente, yes, absolutely, or not, no, para nada, or depends, depende. Ok, so I will uh, be waiting for your answers in the chat, voy a estar pendiente de las respuestas en el chat, ok, please. And then we're going to read all of them, they me van a leer, ok, puede ser por ejemplo.
Bien, en el chat les puse así, ¿ve? It should be legal because podría ser legal porque las víctimas sufren de la gente malvada. O puede ser que it shouldn't be legal. No, because no debería ser legal. ¿Por qué? Uh -huh. And I'm going to wait for your answers, please. I consider that you have interesting points, right? And we're going to read them one by one. Gracias. It's your turn. Could you read your opinion, please? Yes, I think it isn't correct because we all, we all have the right to life. But I believe that some people should pay for they do. What they do. Yeah, very nice. Solo que el verbo sería, toda la respuesta está perfecta. Solo sería the right to live en lugar de life. Porque life significa vida. Y live significa vivir. Este es un verbo que siempre me confundió a mí. Porque sí quise decir derecho a la vida. Ah, derecho a la vida. Ok, ya. Yeah. 
Entonces está correcto, es el sustantivo. Uh -huh. sí. The right uh -huh. to life. Thank you. Very nice. Eh, Joana and then Wendy. Joana okay. says no. Uh -huh. No, no, teacher, because we all have to write the right to life and high life sentences will be the best option. Mm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because you say innocent people, right? Can be executed sometimes. Yeah, it is possible, Joan. It is possible. Yeah. Yeah. There is a movie, uh, Tom Cruise movie. It is called. It, it's about the future. Minority Report. Minority Report. It's an interesting movie because they discover how to prevent um, all, how to prevent murders and all those things. Como pre prevenir eh, asesinato y todas esas cosas a través de de una serie de de, de premoniciones and that system works y ese sistema trabaja but then Tom Cruise and notices that something is wrong with that system they luego nota que hay ma algo malo con ese sistema but yeah it is like what you say innocence can be executed pero esa es película es, es película creo que también es un libro ajá uh -huh. ¿cómo se llama? Minority Report very nice I recommend it Okay, es película y es, y es libro. Sí, verdad no, que sí, es, no, ya había no, escuchado no, que es un libro. Uh -huh. sí. report. Obviamente el libro debe ser mejor. Definitely, right? <laughs> yes, as okay, always. Thank ok, thank you to you. Wendy, please, and then Ricardo. Ok. No, because the right to life will be violated in a certain way. Innocent people can be executed. Cured. And I execution cannot be re reversed. Reverses, yes. There are some uh, punishes. ¿Qué significa castigo? Punish, castigo. Punishes, castigos. Punisher, castigador. Como el de Marvel. Okay. So there are some punishes that can be like. Uh, limited, pueden ser limitados or can be changed, but yeah, definitely an executed person, yeah it is like that, right well, thank you Wendy good point, uh, Ricardo and then Luz okay um, in some case, it is acceptable, mm -hmm. because there are terrible crimes against children, for example yeah, are Inhumane. Yeah. Que se yeah, inhumane. But if mm -hmm. uh, we see it from a religious perspective, no, because no one has the right to take the life of another. It's hard to decide. Mm -hmm. um, but the family, but the family uh, is very painful. Yeah. The family suffer, and obviously yes. the, the family is going to ask for that, right? And yeah. very something that can be like remarkable, algo para remarcar es mm -hmm. crimes against children. Mm -hmm. uh, sim similar to a, a, a previous case, a recent case mm -hmm. about a girl, seven years old, a girl that she was, okay. she went to store, mm -hmm. iba a comprar mm -hmm. la niña, and yeah. Okay. Complicated, and, and, really complicated, yes. Right, so we'll mm -hmm. it's difficult. Yeah, I know it's difficult because the yeah. moral, yeah, and the religion says no because we don't have the right mm -hmm. to be taken or mm -hmm. to decide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Ricardo. Good point. Thank you. Okay, Luz, and then Ivan. Uh, yes, yes mm -hmm. because they com committed. No, they committed. Committed. Mm -hmm. Crime, yeah. crime, and her other. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Luz. Yeah, there are some people that they say that when a, a person, a criminal, commits some crime, 
this person like loses their rights. Dicen que cuando alguien comete un crimen pierde sus derechos. And could it be like this, right, Luz? Yeah, because uh, this person uh, harms the others. La persona daña a los demás. Okay, okay, good point. Thank you, Luz. Ivan and then Nelson, please. It depends, I think, is the pen of the criminal crime mm -hmm. that has been committed. For example, someone who has stolen is not the same one, someone who has yes, killed. Yes, definitely. It is like a very different crime, right? Uh, maybe a person can steal something. For example, a hen. Una persona puede robar una gallina. A hand, for example, is very different than the other type of crime, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. yes. Maybe it is like a scale. A scale is a, a different types of categories, right? Well, thank you, Ivan. And Nelson? A uh, simple answer. Uh, no, because that becomes a reward greater, greater than a punishment. Than a punishment, okay. Interesting point, Nelson. Some uh, some criminals they are not they don't have mental health, right? No, tienen salud mental. No. Maybe they want to die, right? Maybe they, they, they don't want to live. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Could it be a reward? Más que un castigo es como que pues. Se les ayuda, it's a prize. Right? It's it's a prize. Like you did it, okay? Bye. Yeah. Thank you, Nelson. Another interesting point. Eh, Laura and then Brian. Um, sería no because we all have the to life, to life. But I do agree that they have great, great opportunity. Okay, yeah. Good point. It is like uh, they deserve punishment. Ellos sí, sí, se merecen castigo, right? But it is difficult to decide mm -hmm, if a person lives or not. Thank you, Laura. Brian and then Hector. So, well, I think that is uh should be applied depending uh on the case or the severity of the crime of the crime crime uh-huh okay in the case uh could it be right depending on the case uh there yeah. should be a lot of investigation it is that something that it is kind of complicated right in good investigation and depends on <clears throat> that uh, do you watch the movie uh, uh, The Last The Last Hope I think that, that it's in English the name so the, la the last what I'm sorry The Last Hope mm, or I, I, well, do you uh, remember uh, the, uh, the actors or the actresses bueno se llama en español el, este, el milagro en la celda en la celda algo en un número la cosa es que el el de de men it's uh, it's uh, how do you say inculpado yes ah well he was like declared guilty the, sí, fue declarado culpable mm -hmm. the declared guilty uh, but it but, the, but he the was man, innocent uh, he was innocent. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and it is about, but he suffered, right? Sufre. He suffered. Yep. yep. Suffers a lot. Yeah, so. And is the 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 death penalty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. So it, it, it is very complicated because uh, he was not a criminal. Right? Well, some that could be like based on, on, on the reality. But well, yeah. thank you, Brian. Thank yep. you for expressing your point, even with examples. Hector and then David. Okay, Hector. 
Okay. No, it is not the solution to the social problem of people who dedicate themselves to doing evil, but this day they serve them fine. Okay, if they deserve it, yeah, there's a lot of people doing bad things, right? Even, but well, thank you. We're going to move now to David and then Miguel, okay, David? Well, yes, because some players deserve it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some people, they deserve it. Thank you, Miguel and Ana Cristina. I think it depends the judgment or crime. Mm -hmm. The crime. Yeah. Practically, it is about the judgment who decides. And depending on the investigation, the proofs, right? If there is evidence. So, yeah, definitely. Thank you. Ana Cristina and Jasmine. Yes, I believe it shall exist because mm -hmm. it is the justice that the victim expects. But for the community, religious, pardon, religious community, this action is not correct. It's not correct. Yeah, definitely. Um, when you say this should exist. It is like, yes, it should exist, but not for everybody, right? Because not all the criminals deserve this uh, punishment, but well, uh, yeah, definitely a lot of people that maybe they can think, no, it is not good, right? Because it's something something really delicate. Thank you, Ana Cristina. And mm -hmm. Jasmine, please. Uh, I am not, it's total agreement. Uh, but it is sometimes difficult uh, difficult to know that he has done very bad things and we well think that uh, they have to pay. Uh, I really do not know. Yes, I like sentences would be better uh, that did alone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, could it be right? There are some sentences, yes. And definitely the 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 victims or the family the, the family of the victims are always asking for justice. Siempre piden justicia. Yeah. And when they are suffer a lot, cuando sufren demasiado, they consider this as a solution okay thank you well my friends we're going to do something right now vamos a hacer algo but just give me a second mm -hmm. okay um we're going to write one sentence. Solo quiero que me escriban una oración acá. Not complicated. Pero quiero que sea con el I have to or I need to. Por ejemplo, I have to prepare a presentation. Okay, I have to prepare a presentation okay when could it be on friday what time at 8 30 in my company o puede ser también in the office and so on okay puede ser i have to prepare a presentation on friday at 8 30 in my company en lugar de i have to puede ser i need to necesito que necesito hacer algo okay 
And when you have this information, no necesito que hagan el cuadro, solo la, 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 la oración completa, me la envían, please, me la envían en el chat. Okay, and we're going to read these sentences. Because we're talking about some obligations and that we have to or need to do these days. Cosas que ustedes tienen que hacer. Puede ser, it can be related to the functions. Puede ser relacionada a las funciones que ustedes tienen que hacer. Okay? I'm going to wait for your uh, sentence. Lo voy a escribir. I'm going to write this as an example. I'm going to wait for your answers.
Okay, let's listen to some of the things that you have to or you need to do during this week or during these days as the, the activity mentions. Mm -hmm. Gracias. As always, one of the first one. Gracias and then Nelson, please, gracias. Okay, I have to go to Chalatenango. Uh -huh, for training. For training at 6 a.m. Thank you, yeah. On Thursday. <laughs> uh, on Thursday, okay, yeah, the day. Hacía uh, falta, okay. Nelson? I need to push supply information for tomorrow at uh, half past nine I am Okay, half past nine. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Uh, Jasmine and Miguel. I have to prepare. I have to prepare to give a training. When? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? At what hours? At? Tomorrow at uh, uh, eight. At eight. Okay, thank you. Uh, Miguel and then Wendy. I need to cook breakfast tomorrow at 6 a.m. in my house. Do not <laughs> see any more. That's real. Eso sí es super real. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Wendy and Ricardo. I have to prepare the meeting on Thursday at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. In your work, right? In your trabajo. Yeah. That's yes. It. Thank you. Uh, Ricardo and then Imelda. Okay, I need to check the paperwork on Wednesday at 10 o'clock a.m. Okay, and your vacations? In my case, in my, ah, en vacaciones. <laughs> Lo siento. Yeah, that's it. Good. <laughs> Eso, Lo siento, yo creo me que, believe me, I guess that before the vacations, the days before vacations are nice. Eh, más que las vacaciones, los días antes de las vacaciones es como que bien motivante. Yeah. You're mm. really happy. Oh, pues entonces, sí. Así es antes de las vacaciones. Tengo que yes. hacer todas las vacaciones. Yes. Nice. Thank you. Eh, Imelda and Héctor. Imelda. Okay. Uh, Hector and then Laura. Okay. I need to complete the corporate English touch now at 10 past 15 p.m. on the English platform. Very nice, Hector. Thank you. Yes, on the English platform. Laura and then Ivan. Okay, uh, I have a birthday birthday celebration on Saturday at 5 p.m. at a restaurant. Thank you, me too, but I have that celebration at 1 o'clock. So that's a good day for celebration. Thank you, Laura. Ivan and Joanna. Hi, teacher. Hi. Well, I have a question. Uh, when I use do and make. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, make is usually when you do something with your hands and do okay. an activity that it is not necessary to do it with your hands, but you can do it electronically. You can do it by speaking or you can have help of, of pe people. So that's oh, okay. the but make is something with your hands, right? For example, cooking or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is my answer is I have to do a meeting with my boss on mm -hmm. Friday at 2 p.m. in the company. That's it. Thank you. Correct. Correct. Joanna and Brian. I have to send an email on Monday 8. 8 a.m. in the office. Mm -hmm. At 8 a.m. Thank you. Nice. And we go with Brian and Ricardo. So I need to go 
to the supermarket on Sunday at 7 p.m. Okay, that's for real. Thank you. Ricardo and Christy. Otra vez. I'm Richard? sorry. No, no, no. You, you're already passed, my friend. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, Christy, right, and Wilmer. I have to attend a meeting in San Salvador on Thursday at 8 a.m. in my federation. Thank you, Christy. And Wilmer? Uh, I had to go to San Miguel to remove some energy meter on Monday at night at the company. At the company. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, uh, you did really good, my friends. No problem with this. I guess you're doing really good. And we go now with... We're going to have some paperwork. Vamos a tener un trabajo en equipo. Okay. Let me check. Okay. We're going to have this. Okay, we're going to practice this, but it's like four minutes and cuatro minutos y menos lo vamos a hacer. Here we have a conversation between Susan and Adele, but not the singer. Uh, Susan says, Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th, okay? I guess we don't have problems with this. No, creo que no tenemos problemas con esto, ¿verdad? We're going to practice. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? Representatives. It's on Friday, 26th. Okay, we're going to make some groups. Maybe Anybody can help me. Alguien que me ayude como siempre enviando la captura. Voy a agradecer bastante. Okay, my friends, see you in a moment.
Luz, no sé si me escuchas. Te envié la solicitud. Sí, creo que por error cerré. Permítame, te la vuelvo a enviar. Permítame.
Well, uh, maybe we can have like one or two teams. Uno de los equipos que eh, participen, si no, yo también lo puedo elegir. No problem, okay? Well, I can select some of you. Let's see if we have volunteers. If not, maybe I can select. Let me check. I'm going to select here. Rector and Wendy, could you? Podría? Yes, okay. teacher. Okay. Okay. Abel, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the... 26. 26. Sí, 26. Solo que al final se hace como una feta, pero bien difícil hacerlo, así que 26. It's okay. okay. Yeah, very good, but very good pronunciation. And we're going to have also, what about Laura and Wilmer? Could you, my friends? Oof. Okay. Bueno. <laughs> bueno, vamos. Una pregunta, teacher. Este reunión es meeting, ¿verdad? Ajá, meeting. Con R puede ser. Meeting. Ah, yo pensé que era con meeting. Con T. Puede, con es meeting. meeting, pero normalmente ya pues se dice meeting. Meeting. Con R. Y meeting. Con... Meaning. Y, co y consulta es con que insulten. Eh, es como que la U fuese una O. Consultant. Consultant. Meeting, así ve. Sí. Y este es como que la U fuera una letra O. Consultant. Consultant. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Vamos, Please. Wilmer. Vamos. Nosotros podemos, Wilmer. Nosotros podemos. Claro que pueden. Of course you can do it. Vaya. Um, Adel, please set my agenda. Agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday. Con... Sí. On Monday. November 22. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay. okay, yes, of course you can do it. Ya vieron. Very nice. Um, we're going to continue now. And let's see, here we have just... 26 minutos, solo 26 minutos y terminamos. Well, point of this. Eh, gracias por la participación. Lo están haciendo bastante bien. De hecho, he notado que en estas, en estos días, en estas últimas clases, tienen como un poquito más de confianza. I like that. Eso me parece bastante bien. Ya están perdiendo más el miedo. No digo que todos tenían miedo, pero algunos los notaba con un poquito inseguros. Ahora ya se están. Aventando más, I like that attitude. Well, And the pronunciation. Yeah, the pronunciation is improving. Believe me, sí está mejorando. With the speaking activities, con las speaking activities, sí, ya, ya les noté gran cambio. From the last week to, to this one, de la semana pasada esta, hay un gran cambio. Okay, my friends, how to use prepositions of time. We have three types of preposition. On, in, at. So, When we use on, uh, we use it specifically for days or months, but with some dates, with a number. Normalmente utilizamos on cuando se trata de un día. Cuando ustedes quieren decir un día, on, on Friday or Monday on Sunday. Para decir el mes, si lleva la fecha, o sea, de calendario como 23, 21, lo que sea, On. Por ejemplo, también se puede decir on Monday, February 5th. On Wednesday morning. ¿Verdad? 
principalmente cuando es, mira, si tiene un día, lleva on. Si lleva un mes, hay que fijarnos que tenga un número. Vamos con in. In se dice solo para los meses. Ojo con esto. On for days. On es para días. In es para meses. Solo para el mes. On. Y también para un año. In uh, uh, 2018. For example, you can say I was born in mm, Vamos a poner el nombre. I was born in uh, 1978. O pueden decir simplemente 1978. De dos en dos. 1978. I was born in. Si quieren decir eso, la fecha, ¿verdad? But if you say my birthday is on... September 23rd. Miren el cambio. In the first sentence, I'm saying, I was born in 1978. No nací en esta fecha. Parezco como que sí, pero no. Okay, I was born in 1978. And the other is, my birthday is on September 23rd. Eso sí, correcto conmigo. Okay. Mi cumpleaños es el 23 de septiembre. Aquí utilizo in solo para el año. Pero aquí utilizo on porque estoy utilizando el mes, pero estoy utilizando también la fecha, como aquí. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. So here we have this, right? And, and at, especially for time. Normalmente para la, para la, para la hora. At 2.30, at 1 o'clock, at 8 a.m., ¿verdad? También se puede decir at noon, que significa el mediodía, at night, la noche, at midnight, a la medianoche. Okay? And this is something interesting. Noon significa mediodía. Afternoon significa después del mediodía, quiere decir en la tarde. Por eso afternoon significa tarde. Okay? So that's it. Tenemos entonces estas tres palabras. On, in, at. ¿Tenemos dudas con respecto a eso? No sé si tenemos dudas con respecto a eso. Yo sé que a veces puede ser un poquito confuso. Pero ahí están las claves. ¿Ya? Teacher. Yes, Ricardo. Una pregunta sobre la pronunciación number cardinal en... Wait, nosotros. Ah, ok. Ok. Yeah, here we have ordinals and here we have cardinals. For example, uh -huh. uh -huh. este es because un ordinal. It, it finished in the letter T H. Th. Yeah, es como una Z. Como una Z, ¿verdad? Z, ajá, uh -huh. pero no como decimos Z, sino Z. Por ejemplo, la diferencia por, escuchan, el er, por, uh -huh. pero si tenemos uh -huh. es. Por, hay una pausa, eh, hay, hay, hay un, no se queda como for, sino que es, es for, ¿verdad? For. Tenemos, por ejemplo, eh, seven es siete, pero seventh, seventh es séptimo. It's kind of difficult eh, to, to emphasize that. Enfa, enfa, enfatizar en eso es un poquito extraño. A little by little, poco a poco, right? Pero sí, en general, Z en la TH. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. We're going to have some listening. Vamos a tener unos listenings con respecto a esto, okay? Mm, days of the week, months of the year, or maybe some years, eh, bueno, lo, lo, los años y así sucesivamente. Just give me a second. Here I have this audio. Okay, here I have listening. Okay. Vamos a hacer esto. Pueden hacer el cuadro o no. But we're going to listen to eight people. Ocho personas. They are going to say 
the date and they're going to say the activity. Fíjense bien, van a decir una fecha y van a decir una actividad. Try to identify at least one of these words in the activity. No necesariamente tienen que copiar todo, pero at least one word, por lo menos una palabra que no tenga aquí, ya nos da una referencia. Uh, then we, we can have like an idea what it's about. Pueden, como les digo, solo escribir date y activity para que vayan copiando. No necesariamente hacer el cuadro. Okay, let's listen. Al inicio hay como una introducción, así que no es que desde un solo comienza a dar todos los detalles. But let's listen. Vamos a escuchar. Hi everyone. Today I would like to share with you some of the most important events I will have in the next month. First of all, I'm planning to prepare my final report on Thursday, October 21st. After completing that, I will send the final report on Friday, October 29th. That is going to be the last document, which includes the most important things in my area. Besides that, I will have my last meeting with my boss on Wednesday, November 3rd. In that way, I will quit my job on Monday, December 5th. Definitely, I don't want to work anymore in this company. Now, related to my personal life, Marlon told me yesterday that my friends will prepare my single party on Sunday, December 5th at Diego's house because I will get married on December 31st. And obviously, my honeymoon will be on January 1st. So, those are some of my plans for this year. See you. Okay, listen one more time. Lo escuchamos de nuevo. Hi, everyone. Today I would like to share with you some of the most important events I will have in the next month. First of all, I'm planning to prepare my final report on Thursday, October 21st. After completing that, I will send the final report on Friday, October 29th. That is going to be the last document, which includes the most important things in my area. Besides that, I will have my last meeting with my boss on Wednesday, November 3rd. In that way, I will quit my job on Monday, December 5th. Definitely, I don't want to work anymore in this company. Now, related to my personal life, Marlon told me yesterday that my friends will prepare my single party on Sunday, December 5th at Diego's house because I will get married on December 31st. And obviously, my honeymoon will be on January 1st. So, those are some of my plans for this year. See you. Okay. Let's see, maybe we can have an idea. It is not necessary to have all of the, the information that you listen. Maybe some volunteers. It is not necessary to, to say the order. No necessary to say the order. He get married. Mm -hmm. on December 21st. Okay, December 21st. Okay, he's going to get married. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah, that, that that's yeah, this person is going to get married. Se va a casar esta persona. Thank you. That's it. Okay, who else? We have one, Jasmine. Please. No, ya no. Ya no. <laughs> Solo entendí que decía 
solo palabras, pero la última, Marlon, my singer first. Uh -huh. yeah. y, y ya no, no entendí más. Ah, uh, ok, the single party. Ah, party era la otra. Party, single sí. Party. Es la despedida de soltero. Yes, that's it. Okay. Thank you, very nice. Eh, ok, yeah, the single party is on... Eh, Sunday, December 5th. Ok. Ok, no problem. Any other person? Teacher, póngalo otra vez. Mm, ok. <laughs> Let's listen one more time. Please. Yeah, no problem. Let's go. Hi everyone, today I would like to share with you some of the most important events I will have in the next month. First of all, I'm planning to prepare my final report on Thursday, October 21st. After completing that, I will send the final report on Friday, October 29th. That is going to be the last document which includes the most important things in my area. Besides that, I will have my last meeting with my boss on Wednesday, November 3rd. In that way, I will quit my job on Monday, December 5th. Definitely, I don't want to work anymore in this company. Now, related to my personal life, Marlon told me yesterday that my friends will prepare my single party on Sunday, December 5th at Diego's house because I will get married on December 31st and obviously my honeymoon will be on January 1st so those are some of my plans for this year see you okay now do we have some other ideas mm -hmm. Joanna right is the, um, the last meeting with your boss, como la reunión, la última reunión con su jefe, is November 3rd. Okay. November 3rd, entendí. Yes, it's correct. <laughs> and the final report is Thursday, 21st October. Okay, final report Thursday, October 21st. Perfect, yes. Solo nos queda... Her, her honeymoon is January 1st. Honeymoon. Yes. January 1st. Se va de luna de miel primero, imagínense. Pero ahí mencionó algo y, y creo que fue un viernes. Un viernes no sé qué. Creo que tiene que ver con el reporte final yes. o algo así. Send the, sí? final. Send the final report. Yeah. Perfect. I'm going to present the, the information. Okay, it is like this. Look at this. Here we have this, for example, Thursday, October uh, 21st, prepare the final report. Uh, Friday, October 29th, send the final report. Wednesday, November 3rd, have the last meeting. Monday, quit my job. Sunday, single party. December 21st, get married. January 1st, have honeymoon. Now, ahora le presentaré el par. Your dad is in December 20th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Comienza así. Se dan cuenta, this is like, this is the complete uh, speech. Hi, everyone. Today I will take share. I would like to share with you some of the most important events I will have the next month. First of all, y aquí dice, ah, les quiero comentar algo con todos ustedes. Primero, I'm planning to prepare the estoy planeando preparar el reporte final, y aquí dice, on Thursday, October 21st, and so on. Entonces, si se dan cuenta, there is a lot of words, a lot of sentences, but the concrete and important information it is just few uh, ideas. Pocas palabras son las que son las importantes. 
es por eso que les digo, no se trata de entender el 100%. It is not necessary to understand everything. But it is important to understand main ideas and important words. Las palabras importantes, ideas principales, son lo que deben de captar. Y así van avanzando, step by step. Okay. Let's continue. Because what do we have here? Okay. Let me check. Mm, okay, we're going to work with this tomorrow. Okay. Should everybody have the same salary, no matter the job? Why? Why not? ¿Deberían todos tener el mismo salario sin importar el trabajo? Sí, no, ¿por qué? Yes, no, why? You tell me. Okay, I'm going to and be waiting for your answers in the chat. Then we're going to listen to them and then we finish. Okay, terminamos, ¿verdad? Please um, send your answer here in the chat. Pues está esperando. And then we're going to read all of them. Yes, no, why or why not? Sure. Okay, my friends, let's see. Teacher. Yes, gracias. I, what do you say? Difficult, difficult. Uh, okay. And what do you say? Recognize. No sé si lo digo bien. Uh -huh. Dificultad y reconocimiento. Recognize. Uh -huh. Recognize. Reconocido, reconocido. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Difficult, difícil. En lugar de difficult, puede decir hard, que es complicado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Pues, o como Thanks. una canción de Avril Lavigne, complicated. Yeah, uh -huh. Complicated. A veces es bueno utilizar palabras que son como medio familiares. Sí. Complicated, difficult, hard. Yeah. 
Nice. Grecia. Gracias, gracias. No, gracias. Ok. Uh, four minutes and we say goodbye. Ya estamos para terminar. Ok, we're going to start with Joana and then Hector. Ok, Joana, please put your read yours. No, teacher, because the salary depends on the physical and mental effort that the person make in the certain company. Mm, I like that point of view. Thank you, Joanna. Hector, you. you're welcome. Hector, you go and then gracia. Okay. Not because there are jobs that are done uh, that should be better fine that order in terms of professional Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Mm -hmm. and uh, and the uh, degree of no, study that. of H1. Okay, it is like efforts, right? For knowledge and studies. So they are growing, but creciendo, depending on that. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so that's why you say no, similar to Joanna. Thank you. Gracias, and then Luz. Not because all jobs have a different level of difficult and it would be not be fair not to recognize the sacrifice of some people okay yes sounds good everybody has given sacrifice time and effort so mm -hmm. it should be recognized thank you Luz and then Miguel no because the Salary depends on experience and on knowledge. Mm -hmm. If I am subtle for the process, mm -hmm. the position. Okay. Yes, very nice. Experience and knowledge. Thank you. Miguel and Wendy. Mm, no, because the experience not is the same for all. And some words have more difficulty. Difficulty, yes. Not all the words are the same. Not all trabajos son iguales. Yes, some other are difficult. They are kind of difficult in different aspects. Wendy and Brian. No, because each person has competencies that define their capabilities and commitments. Equalizing salary is not Possible for people who strive to be better every day. Mm -hmm. There are some people that they learn, they want to learn more things, more de develop some skills. So, yeah, not that it's not fair, not just. Uh, Brian and Nelson. So now, because there is there uh, is a reason people study. Uh, what they like, uh, what they like, uh, and age, a uh, career has a different preparation and education. Different and preparation, different skill, different abilities, right? Thank you. Uh, Nelson and Ana Cristina. I think not since salary is relative to decision making and responsibility and skill, skills, experience, and very much. Thank you. Nice point. Ana Cristina and Jasmine. I do not agree because there are occupations that require greater academic preparation or physical effort. Or physical effort, definitely, yes. Thank you. Jasmine and Ricardo. I go not the day song salary. Because they are position or position in each work area or according to the academic education you have, the, this is the salary. The salary. Thank you, Edmund. Very nice. Ricardo and Ivan. Okay. Uh, of course not. Because each job is different, there are some that require more preparation. You can't pay someone who make tacos the same as an astronaut. Good example. <laughs> Very the best example. Thank you. 
Okay, and let's listen to Ivan and David. Is it's a very difficult question to answer because in a company uh, there always some about in your uh, hierarchy, hierarchy, and the and the more you study and the more you do you want to hear it. Mm -hmm. Although before God we are all equal. We are all equal but uh, people prepare to earn more money. That's true. David and Laura. Well, no, because it's unfair and it will make us more comfortable. Comfortable, yes. No ambition. Laura and Wilmer. No, because the job with more risk, for example, El riesgo que tiene diversos trabajos. Yeah, there's some risk mm -hmm. in different aspects. Thank you, Laura. Wilmer, and we finish with Imelda. Okay, Wilmer. Uh, not because the salary depends on your work and for and dedication. Thank you. Good. Imelda? Uh, no, the academic preparation experience and skill must be taken, taken to account. account thank you okay uh, my friends i'm going to take uh, your answer as an attendance voy a tomar su uh, respuesta como la asistencia así que no necesito que me envíen thumb up porque ya tengo sus respuestas ahí solo paso a lista con eso uh, por favor recuerden Mañana, eh, en la mañana paso las notas del midterm. Espero que ya lo hayan terminado. Si no, lo, háganlo ahorita y la unidad 2, ¿verdad? Eh, solo se me queda Joana. Ok, Joana. ¿Estás por ahí? Yes, teacher. Ok, quédate un momento. El resto nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow, my friends. Have a good night. Descanse. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Ok, Joana, um, dos cosas. Uno, ¿tú ya habías tomado algún curso de inglés anteriormente? No. ¿Con la academia ni nada? No, para no, nada. No, 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 ninguno. ¿Lo que, lo que viste en bachillerato o en algún taller o algo así? Solo lo del bachillerato más que todo, porque en básica, no, no tuve un teacher <ríe> como se debe. Ya el de bachillerato ah. sí, ese sí un poco más fuerte. Pero ya después en la, en la universidad tampoco, no, no, no. La, lo básico, solo inglés uno, inglés dos. Uh -huh. Entiendo, sí, normalmente eso pasa, ok, pero te felicito entonces si, si te animaste a, a, pues, a tomar esos cursos. Sé que requiere un gran sacrificio, no es fácil, pero es de aprovechar la oportunidad porque los cursos de inglés sí son un poquito caros. ¿verdad? Y... Yo sé, y, y eso, teacher, de que este, cuando yo vi la publicación... Por ejemplo, aquí estamos varios compañeros del trabajo. Llego uh -huh. el siguiente día, ajá, llego el siguiente día y les digo, hey, fíjense que hay tal cosa y tal cosa. Animémonos. Y va a ser en la noche, porque pues sí, ahora obviamente por las horas de trabajo no se puede. Pero ya de ahí se animaron y ahí está Don Héctor, está Ricardo, está Laura, está Ana Cristina, que todos somos, digamos, como que del mismo grupo de trabajo. <risa> Bueno. Entonces ahí, ahí llegué a motivarlos y, y les gustó y continuaron también ellos. Sí, y de eso se trata de que eh, no siempre se va a mantener el mismo grupo porque a veces pues dependen, los mueven, pero en la medida que se pueda y, y motivarse, pues adelante, ¿verdad, Joana? Este, Así es. ¿Tienes alguna duda o pregunta con respecto a algún tema que hayamos visto? Por el momento le voy, ese, le voy comprendiendo. Lo voy comprendiendo, teacher. No, no está tan complicado los temas, ¿verdad? No. <ríe> no, realmente no. Y, y lo que hacemos comentarios, por ejemplo, con los compañeros es de que nos gusta la parte de que sí hablan inglés, pero también hablan español. Entonces, como que ahí vamos agarrando un poco. 
Sí, Vamos a estar hablando con lo que está diciendo, porque ahí, por ejemplo, la teacher anterior, o sea, sí le comprendimos, pero ella nos hablaba más en inglés. Entonces ya había unos momentos donde uno tenía una laguna mental y como, ¿qué, qué está diciendo? <risas> es, es que quizás, sí, yo he notado, ya tengo, sí, más casi dos años de estar trabajando con inglés corporativo y, y he tenido varios grupos. Uh -huh. Entonces he notado, yo lo he intentado hacer así como tú mencionabas con otra teacher y yo sentía que algunos estaban como un poquito perdidos. Entonces, eh, por mucho que yo, yo, yo lo hiciera así, no lograban el avance que yo quería. Entonces, yo prefiero, ¿verdad?, cambiar un poquito la estrategia y que los resultados sean mejores. Entonces, eso y también lo de las preguntas. Y eso es, no es mentira, pero ah, eso sí es cierto de que a uno, va, uno va agarrando un poco más, más de confianza al hablarlo ante todos, porque no es lo mismo así como que en sala con unos dos o tres que ya expresarlo ante todos. Uh -huh. Y fíjate que eh, lo que yo estoy implementando con ustedes, porque es el primer grupo que yo lo hago así, porque antes las speaking activities solo eran orales, uh -huh. eh, pero ahora eh, ustedes están escribiendo en el chat y luego de leerlas como otra práctica para ustedes y siento así en general de la semana pasada para ahora en la pronunciación ya siento que ha mejorado bastante porque investigan, practican, entonces cuando vienen a la clase ustedes vienen ya afiladitos, entonces eso sí me, me alegra bastante, ya estoy viendo el cambio. No, Ajá. sí, sí, es, no, es notorio, con los compañeros a veces, por ejemplo, Héctor dice, hey, ya mandó la, la question, dice, sí, el teacher, veamos qué dice, dice sí, entonces ya como que comenzamos ahí a compartir, y, y sí es cierto, uno comienza desde antes un poco a, a cómo uh -huh. se escribe la palabra, cómo se pronuncia, y, y, y lo bueno de, de que lo que tiene es eso, de que de decir aunque sea una palabra, no, no la presión, pues de decir, puchica, no entienden. O... Sí, no, no, no se trata, ajá, yo, y, y, y me gusta que, que pues se están apoyando ustedes, eso créanme que, que motiva, los felicito y espero que sigan así, porque... Eh, se trata no solo de, bueno, si te das cuenta las preguntas incluso da para hablar más. Exacto. Hasta para hablar en español, ¿verdad? Para dar puntos de vista, así. Entonces trato de, de, de buscar preguntas un poquito. Hay unas preguntas que sí, yo, yo reconozco que son raras, pero hay otras que sí son interesantes. Pues las de ahora, por ejemplo, esa es la del salario, esas todos me dieron puntos bien claros y sí, estoy de acuerdo. Así que sí, Joana, te felicito bastante. Muchas gracias. Eh, con la plataforma creo que va bien, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ahí sí. Sí, voy bien. Muy bien. Me alegro. Voy más tarde. Yo creo que ya por la semana cuatro me quedé. Sí, sí. Y... Uh -huh. Tienes muy buena pronunciación, Joana. Tienes la habilidad para aprender. Vas a aprender aún más, ¿oíste? Eh, Ay, cada teacher... Idea. Sí. Cada teacher tiene una metodología diferente, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero me alegra que les esté gustando la... la, la la clase, ¿verdad? Entonces ya vamos a la mitad, dos semanas. Bueno, esa... Vamos bien, vamos motivados vale. todavía. Perfecto, me alegra. Entonces, Joana, pasa buenas noches, entonces nos okay. vemos mañana, ¿ok? Bueno, gracias. Bye, bye.